Hello everyone. Welcome to this week's live channeling. I'll just adjust things here while I'm waiting for people to join. Welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, this week, I know some of you guys have been um, excited about this week's uh, channeling. This week's channeling is with Shungite. Um, and so we'll see what comes through from this crystal today. Uh, Shungite is not a crystal I've worked with heavily, at least in terms of uh, the crystal therapy work that, that I do and, and also that I, I teach. Um, it is a crystal though that I've worked with in my personal life. Um, and it's one of those crystals, this is, this is gonna be an interesting channeling for me today too, because Shungite is one of those, uh, one of those stones that um, I find absorbs more energy than it emits. This is something that I, I teach in my Pro Crystal Healer course about how, you know, in, in crystal therapy, we work with crystals uh, in different ways for different purposes. With some of them, we're working uh, for the frequencies that, that they emit. With some crystals, we're working to direct or move or shift energy. With some, we're looking to transmute energy. Selenite is a classic example of a crystal that really powerfully transmutes energy, meaning it transforms it, it changes it. Um, and then we also have the crystals that dissolve through transmutation or that absorb. And a lot of the crystals that we work with to absorb energy, we're working with them uh, uh, to clear energy blockage, to purify, to help release, to help to draw uh, energy out. It's almost like uh, the crystal equivalent of a, a, a poultice, let's say, in um, herbalism, where we're, we're working with, with herbs or even good old-fashioned baking soda or salt to draw uh, toxins out of the body to, and, and to draw toxic energy out of the body or out of uh, a source of energy. So, um, yeah, Shungite tends to fall into that that latter uh, that latter uh, category. So uh, I'm gonna begin the channeling, and we'll see we'll see what comes through. We'll see uh, what crystal energy medicine, which uh, messages come through uh, today for this stone. And thank you everyone for for showing up and. Um, uh, uh, and thank you for, for the love and the hearts. Uh, it means a lot. I really appreciate it. Okay, so settling in. And one of the first things I'm feeling, and this is, this is always kind of fundamental when um, tuning in with a crystal, especially if you're holding it in your receptive hand, your non-dominant hand, uh, you know, I feel the tingles, I feel the energy, but what's interesting with Shungite is I'm feeling a lot of heat. A lot of heat um, is being generated right away with this crystal. It, it reminds me, to be completely honest, not its frequency, but this this immediate kind of heat reminds me of Moldavite. A Moldavite just heats up in your hand almost right away and I'm feeling this heat and this heat is like kind of creeping it's creeping up my arm I'm feeling it on part of my face now and coming into the body just this really warm uh you know I want to say mellow but mellow is not quite the right term I, I guess soft maybe if we were to talk about texture but it's powerful because I'm feeling it right away the energy is activating uh in my in my dominant hand in my right uh, palm chakra um, and I'm feeling the energy now it's moving it this is you know it, it's really interesting some crystals that uh, black tourmaline is like this as well you know we do we we fall back so heavily all the time on the the chakra associations with crystals and that's really just only one way um, of working with crystals therapeutically uh, but there are some crystals that are just they can be placed on any chakra, any part of the energy system or body. And certainly Shungite is feeling like one of those. I'm just feeling this warmth and this, this energy just spreading through my whole body now. It's coming over to my right side. It's moving down uh, my legs towards my feet. And there's definitely, you, interesting, 
uh, the words that just came through, I was just about to say, definitely feels cleansing, but then the term that came through was purifying fire. Uh, and for those of us who are metaphysical workers, who are magical workers, uh, who get uh, uh, pulled into the alchemy of change and transformation energetically uh, uh, speaking, um, um, there is really kind of like, you know, it's interesting how I started off talking or, or had spoken of transmutation. There's like this alchemical transmutation, um, that's happening with this energy. And again, that, 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 that those words purifying flame, purifying, uh, fire, just sort of moving through the body. And What's interesting now is is how this is being interpreted by my mind, sort of clairsentiently and claircognizant, cognizantly, um, is that this is part of the purifying energy and power of shungite, and there are some crystals where they begin, and it's it's really kind of external, like your frequency rises, uh, it raises your frequency, and it starts to transmute and shift and change energy in terms of dissolving lower uh, harmful debris and um, either repelling or transmuting lower frequencies. They're either forced to rise up into higher, purer frequencies, or they're, they're repelled, they're expelled. But this is moving through the body first. So it's very much a so within, so without um, effect that is happening. Um, and I'm feeling especially a lot of heat now in my core area, the core area of my body. I'm wondering actually if my face has gone pink um, from the warmth. It's just really quite, um, quite incredible. So it's very purifying to the system. And what I'm getting is it starts, it starts on the physical level. And part of the, the sort of the divine intelligence or message that's coming through with of this crystal medicine is that so many of us are affected um, at a real fundamental level by, you know, environmental uh, impurities, environmental toxins, stuff that shows up in our food and water as well. And, you know, we're aware of this and there are ways that we can either circumnavigate it or there are ways that we can counter affect it, you know, with healthy, clean food and, you know, purifying our water and everything else. It's, you know, and there's this caution, actually, there's this message coming through about not vilifying the environment or the world that we're in, just becoming more conscious of it. Um, how we contribute to it, but also what we take from it, you know, that exchange. Um, and so there's this message of having to start more at the physical level in terms of purifying and how that affects our energy outwards. And it's saying that a lot of us can have this um, sort of reverse thinking, especially in uh, uh, this spiritualist or, or new age world of, you know, we've, we've got to start from the outside in, we've got to purify our energy and clear our energy and, you know, do all this spiritual work to, to bring us further along our paths of enlightenment. Um, but what it's showing us is that because we are, you know, fundamentally, we are light, um, that have incorporated into denser uh, light beingness being in, in our body in this physical form. There's a so without, so within, so without sort of an inside out uh, transformation that also has to happen in terms of considering um, the energy of what we consume, the energy of what we ingest, the energy of what uh, we imbibe and, I, and what I'm seeing is not just in terms of food and liquids and waters and you know other things but also just the stuff that we put on our body on our faces on our skin on our hair the clothing that we wear uh, what we're you know using to clean our clothing and everything else and you know how all of that comes into the body and sort of affect us affects us uh, within which then affects us energetically as beings and shows up in our aura and shows up in other things shows up in our thinking shows up in our feelings so there's there's you know while it, you know especially again in crystal therapy because I'm 
it's all my head, you know, in my head. I mean, <laughs> anyway, um, you know, we, we tend to work, you know, holistically on so many levels simultaneously. There's also this incorporation of bringing this energy and of helping to clear and release and in a way that doesn't trigger necessarily a healing crisis in terms of the body feeling like all of a sudden it's got to flush, you know, a lot of toxins, but, but you know, transmuting that energy. So this is something really powerful that's happening from this crystal and that's happening on this whole holistic level. So for those of you who, you know, feel like you need a support as you move forward on your path, your path of mastery, your path of enlightenment, your path of spirituality, to consider working this crystal into part of your process, part of your practice, your daily practice, your self-care. Um, and it, one of the things actually that's coming through is that it's actually not necessary for you to work with it daily, could be weekly. Um, um, could be once a month just throughout the day letting Shungite cycle through your energy because interestingly enough this is an incredibly powerful stone and 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 you know as this channeling is winding down part of what I'm getting is that this is actually just one level of many levels uh, upon which this um, crystal uh, uh, works and functions and works uh, simultaneously with our energy so Woo! <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, my hand is actually sweating. It's it's just really, really hot. Um, and as I said, I was interested to see what came from this crystal today because it's the first time I've channeled from Shungite and and um, uh, sort of worked with it uh, this consciously and directly for a while. So um, I sincerely hope that that information was of service to you guys today, that you've taken something from that that you can use and, and work with with this, this beautiful stone. And uh, definitely I will consider doing a, another channeling um, in the future uh, from this crystal to see more of the layers that come out. So Thank you to Shungite and thank you so much everyone uh, for joining me and for your love and um, I'll put the vote up for next week's crystal and I'll see you guys same time, same place next week. And one thing too that I wanted to put out there, a bit of guidance that I received and you guys can uh, you know give me some feedback in the comments um, if this appeals to you, but I have uh, started considering uh, with some of the channelings in the future opening up the Akashic Records. Um, of individual crystals and, and reading from their Akashic records. So if that uh, whets your spiritual whistle, if that sounds like something you guys would find fascinating um, and educational and, and supportive, uh, please let me know in the comments and um, I will certainly consider uh, starting to weave that into uh, the web of channelings. So thank you. Blessings to all of you and I will see you next week. Thank you so much for joining me.